Today is an appointed special day for our mother, Koiki. Father, may your name be glorified in heaven. Lord, we shall be fellowshipping in your words now. I reduce myself and I want you to rise in me. Amen. The words that is going to go out from my mouth today, let it be ordained from you from above. Amen. Use me as your instrument today. I don't want to speak things of my mind, but I want to speak your word. Father, descend your word, O oh Lord. Amen. Let the meditation of the heart of your elect be acceptable in thy sight. Our God, our Lord, and our Redeemer. Amen. 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 Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Please let us be seated. Now, I have three things in one with me. And the three things is that the first one is a revival, right? We have been coming with this revival for three days. And this is the third day of the revival. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, I say, so many people, they are just, just they are brought down with their problem. You know what? Because... Every time they always put their problem on their face. This world is going to end. Amen. It's not going to end for you. I'm saying to you, all those things that you are thinking about, that is not possible, I want you to drop it. I say you are going to drop it today. Amen. And you will not see them no more. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Hey, look. January, February, up to December. How many more days? How many more days? Four days. Stay somebody beside you, you made it. I can't hear it. Aha. Listen, if you, listen, the Lord says to us that we should always be positive, right? How many people believe that they have made it to the end of this year? This one. If you believe, shout hallelujah! to be catching it as I am throwing it to you just catch it and shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah because I know that you have made it to the end of this year shout hallelujah because I know that the disease of cancer will not afflict you shout hallelujah because I know that your organ will never fall shout hallelujah are coming with since Friday and they say the thing was my past is gone and my anointing is gone ha. we have been going through several things why our past we should forget it everybody have past if you have been smoking before and you stop it it's your past right if you have been bad biting before and you decide I'm not doing no more, it's your past, right? Yes. If you have been killing people behind them and you say I don't want to do it again, it's your past, right? Yes. When I said that you have been killing people, somebody say, eh? Uh uh. We all know it, right? Okay. Because you see my mother Koiki, please rise up. Let the Egba Mishalate walk. You are blessed, sit down. You see, Anna, not even not from today, from before. Told this software I'm going to put you. Only call her and Benny. Right? You've killed her, right? If you are in that position, that is your past. If you are the person that goes to your office and you gang up against somebody that doesn't have any fault, that was your past, right? If there is somebody that is running after another man's wife, when you have your own beautiful wife in the house, that was your past. Amen. You will not do that no more. Amen. I say you will not do it no more. Amen. Everybody has got their own past. Right? But we don't want to bring the past. The reason we are talking about this past is that you have to examine yourself and, and decide within yourself that this past, am I taking this 
pass to the new year. If you want to take this pass to the new year, raise your hand. Nobody. Shout hallelujah. That means the old congregation that I hear in the presence of our Lord is telling me that as from today on, my past will be gone. Amen. If your past is gone, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, we are coming to you have to be, get a new anointing, right? Let's quickly go to 2 Corinthians 5, 17. I'm going to be talking about scripture so much today. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Uh -huh. You are a new creation now because what you tell all that you call a shot, you share war, a sinner. And the Bible tells me that if any man do what, Kazuke Dada. If any man be in Christ, it's a new creation. All things they have passed away. All things have become shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't bring your past into remembrance again. The only thing you have to do before New Year is to examine it. Once you examine it and you take stock of everything that you have done in the past, now it is time for you to move on. Because your man's okay, I will call no man shaking when you think about your past everything that you have done and you still bring that into your memory it's going to slow your progress down so as from today let us put it in our past because it's gone now take a new spirit take a new anointing take a new art so that you can navigate your life so well in 2015. Isaiah 61, 1 to 3, what does it say? Quickly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is the third time that this scripture is coming out to everybody. Because the spirit of the Lord is not only on me, it's upon you too, right? And said what? The spirit of the Lord God is upon it's you. upon you. Because the Lord had anointed me to because preach. Because the Lord has anointed you. To preach good tidings. To preach good tidings. He has sent me to bind up the broken uh -huh. heart. To proclaim liberty to the captive. Uh -huh. and to open up of the prison to them. Uh -huh. That month, right? Yes. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Oh, to I am not going to dwell so much in this because you see this year that you are moving to, there is a lot of things that is going to happen. It's either going to be good for you or it's going to be good. I don't want to say the other one. But listen, take some, take a new spirit. Take a new heart. Turn from your ways. Decide now that as from today on, I will continue to do good. Begin to pray. Because you know in the world outside there is not good. In the people where you support our Kishiti Aye, I want to buy the Tiaye, you know, but Tiaye, you should buy our Kishiti Aye, you don't need to pay any other. And also, people who see that Kolani, Mali, Ati, Okuku, you don't need to know about Wali, Okuku, Decide within yourself which way you want to go. That's right. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. I say it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God today is a special day. Because somebody special is doing something special. <laughs> it is good. It is nice. It is joyous to celebrate 50 years birthday. And you know why? Because some people that were born 50 years ago, some of them are no more. Even some of them that are born 50 years ago, some of them are in incarceration. Some people that are born 50 years ago, they are in a mental confinement. But see, you have your freedom and you are free. You have to thank God for that. Some people, when they were born, when they were about to be born, they don't even ever come to this war. Why if you want she abortion? Some people, they have died because of sickness. 
those diseases that they are very strange. They have died of it. Cancer is there. The recent one is Ebola, right? That is why I'm scared. When you want to go to Africa, just pray to God. Because when you come back here, they will give you our time. Ebola will never afflict us in Jesus' name. I say it will not afflict us in Jesus' name. Because of these unforeseen things that has happened, it is very good and nice to praise the Lord. Psalm 103. Please, I want you to read it for this sermon that Mama Koki here today. Blessed the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. And everything that is within you, you have to bless the Lord for it. Bless, yes. bless His holy name. Bless the holy name of our God, your Creator. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless my God, O my soul. And forget not all His uh -huh. Forget not what? All his benefits. Forget not all his benefits. Who? Think about it in your heart. Think about the benefit of God in your life. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. KNS 150. I'm going to call 150. I, I want you to dance and praise God with it because this is a special song that the Lord has asked me to use for you in this hour. 150. <laughs>
special day. And Mrs. Ayani Koiki, she's a special person. You know why? Because she's also married to a special man. Right? And she has a special characteristics. Look at the beauty. Look at the glory of God in her life. Look at this. They say that is the queen. She's a queen. Look at what God has done because you are a special person. And the glory of God will continue to shine in your life. Baba Kuiki, I want you to stand up. Hold her and give her that sweet organ. When they were doing that, Eba Mishan was at the wall. You are a very special man and you are very lucky. And you know, another significant thing about our birthday is that. The Bible says in Psalm 19, I think it's verse 12, if I'm not mistaken, it said that, You know, today is the exact day that she was born about 50 years ago. That is why today is special. Today exactly is our future birthday. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In that Bible verse that I have just said, it's not only Kowala Timaka, your Jori, you are right. We human beings like to count our years, right? But the Lord said that we should be counting what? Our days. You know how old are you, Mama Koiki, in terms of days now? You are 18,250 days year old. Ever Michelin, everyone? It is not easy. 18,250 days. I want just 18 lorry lady like in here. And you will spend more of the days in the land of the living. I say you will spend more of the days in the land of the living. Today is your special day, Hejoko. Today is the day that your soul is rejoicing. Today is the day that you are going to sit down and count your blessings. Today is the day that you have to give honor and adoration to your creator. Because I know that you have gone through thick and thin. It's a journey of life. But the Lord has kept your journey up to this moment. Glory be to the name of the Lord. She is also a special lady because she got some characteristics that I want us to look at. Please, let me go into the book of Proverbs chapter 31. And let's look at what verse 10 says. We're going to start from there. But I'm going to find a righteous woman. Who can find a righteous woman? Go ahead, go ahead quickly. For a price is far above rubies. Oh, that is the price of rubies. Because our what? Our what is more than rubies, right? This is one when they say somebody what is more than rubies, you know what that means. Because that person is very constant in the presence of the Lord and is doing something very good. You know what? When you have a goal, you value a goal so much, right? That is what they are talking about now because now she has devoted all her time and life for Christ. Read on. The heart of her husband does safely. Baba <laughs> Koiki, you hear that what they said? The heart of. Ah, yeah, I'm correct. Better the light, baby. Ah, ah. Then you kill shy. I know for sure and for sure. Baba Koiki, I jam it in back, baro. I be expect and I be. Oh no, I expect and I be. But you should also trust her because she's there for you. Shout hallelujah. What we are talking about now is that she possesses some characteristics that, you know, the Lord himself testified that this is my child. When we look, when you look in the eyes of the Lord, look at it. I and her siblings, they are all present in the presence of the Lord. Iyan Shakori, 
Our What is more than that? When you leave your children to the Lord and you don't leave them behind, you are doing something great. That is why you are so special. She's also so special because in the man that belongs to, we've never heard that she's one of the ones that is very rebellious. We never hear about that. Whatever the band is doing, she is there to support them. That is why the characteristic of God is in your life. Also, we know that when you are talking about things should fall in place and it should move the way they should move, she is right there. What else do you want? Because the Lord wants us to build for him. He doesn't want us to destroy for him. When she was born to her father, may his father put um, so rest in peace. Our father, at Baka Yemni. Have you ever? Uh -huh. That was, I remember, I was a little bit of a year. I was a little bit of a to help me more in my body, cash it in the past. Shout hallelujah! Because you know what, then? Uh uh. Mama, you know that we are damn it, and Baba and Bakani. You got down when you're back for going on. That got that parents in it, be one for it. Your beauty will never fade in the presence of God. God will continue to elevate you. Your God, your Lord is for you. And he has a special message for you. That you should continue in the way that you are doing now. You should continue to work for him. Because you know what? You are starting another journey of life. You are going away from your years of 40s. And you are going to your year of 50s. Now you know what? As you are going to this year of 50s, God Almighty will be with you. Amen. You will never make mistakes. Amen. I want you to decide now. This year 50s that you are going to, which direction you want to go. Because that is very important. When you look at compass, we have north, south, east, and west, right? You have to decide what direction you want to go now. And I am saying to you, I'm advising you now, that your 50, you should go in the direction of the north. You know what? The Bible will tell you now. Please help me go to um, the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, 6 to 9. Mm -hmm. And he said, Why shall I cry? Mm -hmm. All flesh will rise, mm -hmm. and all the godliness therefore is as a flower of the earth. Mm -hmm. The flower faded, mm -hmm. because the spirit of the Lord below upon him. Mm -hmm. Surely the people is grass. Uh -huh. The grass withered, uh -huh. the flower faded. Uh -huh. But the word of our God shall stand forever. Forever. The word of the Lord shall stand in your life forever. Amen. Now, because what we are saying that. Victory doesn't come from east or west or south, but from the north and from the top of my Lord Jesus Christ. That is why you have to decide that you are going north. When you look at north, when you draw the compass up and down, where is the north? That is it. That is why you have to go in the direction of our Lord, your Creator, because you have to devote your life to your Creator, where you are today. Everything in this world is nothing. Be only one sushi so But Energy I want you to decide in your mind that you are going in the direction of the north because that is where you will receive your blessing from God. Amen. I also want to use this opportunity to congratulate you today because your coming to the world is for a purpose. And I pray to God that you will fulfill the purpose of God in your life. You have seen so many battles. You have seen so many wars. You have seen so many fights. You have seen so many struggles. You have seen so many pleasant and unpleasant things. <laughs> you have seen situation that brings joy. You have seen situation that brings sadness. 
And you have seen situations that people forsake you. And you have seen situations where you are in the darkness. You have seen situations where you lost your dad. And you have seen situations when there was no help for you. But I'm telling you today that life does work. Life continues. Yeah. Your consideration as you turn to your 50s is that you will go in the direction of Christ. And all night he will continue to guide you. Amen. Psalm 48. Let me read 1 to 2. You know why I say you should go in the direction of the north? Listen very well. Uh huh. Uh -huh. In the city of our God, uh -huh. in the mountain of all holy land, uh -huh. beautiful for situation, uh -huh. the joy of the whole earth uh -huh. is Mount Zion. It's Mount Zion. On the side of the north. On the side of the north. The city of the great king. The city of the great king. You see the reason why you have to go now. Go to 76 for me. 6 to 7. Psalm 76, verse 6 to 7. Thy rebuke, O God of Jacob, uh -huh. but the chariot of horse are cast into dead sleep. Uh -huh. Thou even thou art to be fair, uh -huh. who may stand in thy sight uh -huh. when once thou ang art angry. Uh -huh. That did us, that did us cause judgment to the herd uh -huh. of heaven. Uh -huh. The earth fed and was still. Uh -huh. When God arose to judgment uh -huh. to save all the meat uh -huh. of the earth of Sheila, surely the wrath of the man shall praise thee. The remainder of the wrath shall die restrained. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That means when you take this um, road that leads to the north, right? This will take you to your joy. Amen. This will take you through places. Amen. This will take you to everlasting life. Amen. This will take you to good qualities and things that you desire for yourself. Amen. And also it will lead you to the quality of the fruit of the spirit. Amen. In this year of your 50, I want you to observe the following. I want you to wait in the Lord. In the beginning, I want to buy the I want to buy the Lord. 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 I want to the Lord. Uh -huh. And therefore will be exalted. When you wait in the Lord, it shall be gracious unto you, and your life will be exalted. Thank you. Go ahead. I also want you to be more prayerful. Because you see, in this life, there is a lot of devilish thing outside there. Especially in these fifties that you are going to. You will see a lot of things happening now. There are a lot of people that are even looking for your downfall. There are a lot of people that what they want to gain from you is what they want. They are not thinking good about you. There is a lot of people that will annoy you. There is a lot of people that will talk bad about you in your back. There is a lot of people that will want your downfall. But hey, I tell you, when you wait in the Lord, the Lord will cancel all this for you. Because you see, there are other situations in life that you yourself, you cannot handle. But it's your God that can handle that situation for you. Nobody needs to tell you that you know that. From the time that you are born up to this time, it's not every time that you call people to pray for you. When you are faced with certain situation, but the Lord is there for you. And will continue to be there for you. Amen. And also, I want to tell you that some people that you are taking as your enemy, right? Maybe because they are telling you the truth. Hey, consider they may not be your enemy. You just need to pray to God to show you who are your friend and direct you in the right path. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to direct your path. Yeah. I want you to increase your pace of doing the work of God. You are doing it now. But in your heart, purpose that is not even sufficient. You have to do more. This year, 2015, that you are deciding your heart that what you are going to do for God this year will supersede what you have been doing in the past. And God Almighty will enable you to be able to do that. I also want you to be more patient. Be patient in everything that you do. Because Money only through loan everywhere. 
For sin, God is no holy shame. With your children, be patient. With your husband, be patient. With your co worker, be patient. With the congregation of the Lord, be patient. When you are patient, the support of the Lord will always be with you. Let us look at Psalm 37, verse 7. What does it say? Yes. Uh huh. Because him who prospereth in his ways, uh -huh. because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, uh -huh. cease from anger uh -huh. and forsake wrath. Cease from anger. Fret not thyself in uh -huh. any wise to do evil. Uh -huh. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait unto the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. I pray that you will inherit the Lord 